हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइल्ड डूब रोबोटेक एंड ऑटोमेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर एन इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट वेयर वी रीड टेम्परेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी फ्रॉम डी एस टी वन वन सेंसर एंड डिस्प्ले इट ऑन एन एस एस टी वन थ्री जीरो सिक्स ओलेट डिस्प्ले विद एस पी थर्टी टू यूजिंग एस पी आई डी एफ एंड एम्बेड सी फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट टेक ए लुक एट द सर्किट डायग्राम वी रिक्वायर्ड एन एस पी थर्टी टू डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड ए डी एस टी वन वन टेम्परेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी सेंसर एस एस डी वन थ्री जीरो सिक्स ओलेट डिस्प्ले Now let us connect the components. For DHT11 sensor, ground pin connect to ground of USB32. VCC pin connect to VIN. Data pin connect to GPIO D4. For SSD1306 OLED display, ground pin is connect to ground. VCC pin connect to 3.3 volt. SCL pin connect to GPIO D21. And SDA pin connect to GPIO D22. All right that is our complete hardware setup now let us move ahead to the coding part we will go through the entire code line by line so you can understand how everything works we begin by including all necessary header files stdio.h and string.h are standard c libraries for input output and string handling the st11.h is custom or library driver to interface with the dst11 temperature and humidity sensor free rta/freertas.h provides the core definition needed for using free rtas task sst1306.h is our OLED display driver here we define the pin number where the dst11 sensor is connected in this case gpio4 we also define time out value of 5 second in case of the sensor does not respond this is the entry point of our application app underscore main function is what runs after the esp32 finish booting we create a dst11 underscore t structure to hold the sensor detail and assign the pin number to it This function initializes the OLED display so we can start printing on it. These character array are used to store formatted string that will be shown on the OLED. We enter an infinite loop. Here these both variable are declared static so they retain their value between the loop iteration. This line reads data from DST11 sensor. It returns 0 if successful. We cast the sensor value to uint8 underscore t so we can work with simple 8 bit integer to avoid unnecessary display refreshes we check if either the temperature or humidity has changed compared to previous reading we clear the oled display to remove old value then we use printf to format our string with latest value next we print the string at a specific coordinate on oled display temperature is printed in middle humidity is shown below it this line actually push the content from the buffer to oled screen and finally we store the current value for comparison in next loop cycle we add a two second delay using free rtas v task delay to avoid reading the sensor too frequently okay now let us see dst11.c file This is DHT11 read function. We are passing a pointer to our custom DHT11 structure and a timeout value to limit how many time we retry the connection. Let us walk through the logic block by block. First, we initialize four variable. We also define a receive data array with five byte. This will store the raw humidity and temperature data plus checksum byte. Okay. This while loop attempts to handshake with the DST11 sensor. It will repeat until the timeout limit is reached. We set the GPIO pin to input. Then we call hold underscore low function to send a low pulse for 18 millisecond. That is how we trigger the sensor. Now we go through the three phases of response checking. We wait for a low signal, then a high signal, and another low before actual data transmission begins. If any phase fails, we log it using ESP log and delay for 20 millisecond before trying again. After the loop, we check if hit the timeout limit. If we did, that means sensor did not respond properly, and we return minus one. 
we loop through 5 bytes and inside that loop through 8 bits for byte. For each bit we wait for a low to high transition and measure 0 duration. Then we wait for high to low transition and measure 1 duration. If 1 duration is greater than 0 duration, the bit is 1 otherwise 0. We build each byte using bitwise OR and shifting. Once all bits are read, we validate the data using a simple checksum. If this checksum matches the fifth byte, we got valid data. Finally, we return 0 to indicate success. If checksum does not match, we log an error and return minus 1. Now it is time to build the code, clean the project and hit the build. Code has been built without any error. Now click on flash. Wow, you can see temperature and humidity is printing on display. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really found it helpful, please do like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and see you in next one.